Anthony Richardson. Yes. Stay on the rookies. Anthony Richardson. So this is a, this a is quarterback favorite. that a did go not long tickle favorite. your fancy in the pre-draft process, Jim. I did not a little see, fancy tickling going on there. I was not seeing any type of passing at Florida that made me think that he's going to be able to get this done in the NFL, throwing the football. Here's what I saw from week. We talked about him week one where he played a very good game as far as how they used him. But his fourth quarter in that week one was bad. And it cost, I don't want to say it cost them the game, but he had chances for them to win. If he, he would, he just missed throws in that fourth quarter. Now here we are week four comes off an injury comes back. Tyler, he had, We'll go back to the big boy plays. He had five big boy plays, which is, yes. Like, when I say big boy plays, these are Super Bowl rare type. These are like, whoa. He also had four no thank you plays that can destroy a game. And that is what you're going to live with right now with Anthony Richardson. His ability to get the snap, make one read, and throw a dart is outstanding. When he has to make a throw outside of that, hold your breath. The next thing I'm worried about, I believe it was in the third quarter, he was scrambling near his end zone, puts the ball in his left hand under pressure to try to get rid of it, and he got blasted again, Tyler. He didn't get hurt, but you see my point. This is a risky way to make a living for the Indianapolis Colts. Your franchise quarterback, it can't be getting hit this many times. Hard hits. This is your guy. So, but what I saw, the good, whew, I see what you're saying about the, the athleticism as far as it gets him out of issues that other guys can't get out of. His strength stands out. His power and speed stand out. He still throws all fastballs, all fastballs. And it's not Nolan Ryan. It's wild thing reliever. John Rocker. Rocker. Good, rocker. Ooh, good, good rocker. I like that. But by the way, I'm rooting for the Braves to win the World Series this year. Not a big baseball fan, but might have something invested in that. But anyway, Anthony Richardson. Yeah, I, Tyler. By the way, I'm retired from gambling again because I was a victim of the Patrick Mahomes slide at the one yard line. That's I, night, I have nothing so I'm, I'm that hurts. Sliding that, back into retirement. You know, we, in the next Farb episode, maybe I'll ask Brett on how, you know, to, how do you kind of slip in and out of retirement? How do you process that because i just i'm done i'm done with gambling i'm going to delete the apps it's very upset about that anthony richardson though that's a great description it's it's not unlike josh allen out of wyoming big strong powerful just a lot of ho- like a lot of horsepower fair enough the way he runs the way he throws everything is just what if so I told much strength you, behind it okay the difference i i, I would notice from studying Josh Allen every year in the NFL compared to Anthony Richardson would be, I think Josh is a more natural thrower. Richardson's a more natural runner. It's a big difference. That's how I look at it right now. And Shane Steichen's big bet is that he learns by playing. You could do the Jordan love, wait three years, wait one year approach. Gardner Minshew is more than capable of winning you some games. We've seen it. They he, want him to play. He and Stroud, the team buys into them. And let's let's say this for Richardson. Look who's coming back this week, coming off the PUP list. That can help any rookie quarterback getting Jonathan Taylor. Does he want to play? I don't know. What's, I, obviously, I don't know where the next step is. I'm hoping that's a sign. Right. Hopefully. I, I, I That's – I would like I think to see want to be around this team and this quarterback. If you're Jonathan Taylor, like, you know, the running back market, it is what it is. As a wise man once said, Richardson can it's help. It's terrible, but just, just have fun, man. Football doesn't last long, especially when you're running back, especially let I me mean, look at the injuries every week. He's ACLs, Achilles, MCLs, just do just, just play, have fun. You know, there's talk about no expectations. Nobody's expecting a dang thing out of the Colts mm-hmm. this year. Yeah. The, and I think too, like when we got into this with Josh Lucas, the, the value of sitting, the value of playing, oh. it's so hard to know 
what's better for what quarterback. Probably, I mean, for Anthony Richardson, next offseason is going to be almost just as important as anything that happens it's fair. this season. Right when you're not preparing for a combine and your head's not swimming, learning an NFL playbook for the first time, like what strides can he make between year one, year two, year two, year three? That that's when Josh Allen really took his 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 leaps with Jordan Palmer, and then he had Brian Dable on the seat. I think we know that he's got the infrastructure with the Colts and their coaching. I mean, they just did it with Jalen Hurts. I agree. So I- everything he does in the off season, if and this is the stuff the Colts probably had to figure out before they took him third. Is is he willing to work? Like, is he going to put in the time behind Whoa. the scenes when nobody's watching that the modern athlete, it's different. You know, you put money in people's pockets and sometimes that work ethic fades. <sighs> Everything you hear about Anthony Richardson is that he, he is Josh Allen, like in that regard that he will work. He will improve what he has to improve. Like Jordan love did. He, so that's, and t- look, we could talk to her and love, but it's going to be fun. He's yeah. Well, he's going to be one of the top 10, top five fun players to watch this season in the NFL. I told you before this season, I'm done watching. We're done with, I'm, I'm into the new guys. I'm studying Richardson, Stroud, all these new guys, Purdy, 